I don't think I'm ever gonna post this on a vlog but I think that I have experienced what they call in psychology or therapy a breakthrough I had a therapist appointment this morning and I spent the weekend preparing it and the things that came out were just like mind-blowing so I think I had a few breakthroughs breakthroughs? breakthroughs the weekend before the appointment and today's Monday and I talked about the things that I found by myself and then we expanded on that and I'm like Psh. oh my god I think that I'm having a f***ing existential crisis as you guys know, I sold all my furniture last year, including ugh, my Christmas stuff. But maybe there are things that have been left behind. Like maybe one Christmas decoration, anything. Because right now my place is very empty. <laughs> and it's about to be Christmas and I wasn't supposed to spend it here and I'm probably gonna be alone on Christmas because Corona so uh, let's see if I can find anything well I found these which is better than nothing I suppose <laughs> actually that's fine but I now had a bigger a longer one and this one is like the very, very short version, as you can see. Oh, I'm doing things with one hand. <laughs> this is the length of it. It's probably wood. Without the cable, one meter, two meters. Two meters, I think. The thing is now, where am I? Which part of my flat should I make a little bit Christmassy? <laughs> it looks like I live in a friggin' squat. Yeah, it didn't really work out the way I wanted it to, so <laughs> this is what I resorted to. These are my gifts for my mom, my stepdad, and my brother. And, and obviously I am being very careful because these are hot all the time but this radiator is usually off because it's freaking expensive. Yeah, Christmas 2020. I should get you a gift too. Okay, poop time. I'm filming this segment because my battery died. Um, so it's mid-December and this time last year I was about to buy my plane ticket for Tokyo. Um, but now they're telling me not to buy it, to like wait till the last moment to buy the plane ticket, which oh my god, so stressful. Um, because, well, yeah, I actually kind of agree with them. You don't know what's going to happen. Um, everything is still like up in the air. I know that I mentioned in the last Japan update video that I mean I pretty much had the documents and that I was gonna buy my plane ticket soon and everything but the newest update is that yes I still I have the documents I am technically going for the intended date but it's too early to buy a plane ticket still and everything is gonna be so last minute it's really really stressful um, but I mean, I still have that voucher from my plane ticket last year Which should still be valid, I hope, otherwise that's a lot of money in the bin Um, but yeah, it's still a few months away So I thought, you know what, even though I cannot plan a lot of it I can't buy my plane ticket, I can't look for accommodation I can't, uh, well, trading in the, the documents for the visa, that's usually last minute but you know like all these steps 
is gonna be like at the last possible minute and it's gonna ugh, it's like the worst thing for me i like having everything done in advance and having everything planned but it is what it is i am yeesh <laughs> If it were, if I were in a more comfortable position, I'd probably put it like a little, I'll probably set it back a little more, but I can't live, it's gonna be a year in an empty flat. It's getting really hard. I don't have any income anymore, as you might already know from previous updates. It's very hard at the moment. So if I can go in March, April of 2021, I will probably seize that opportunity and go even if it's a little more difficult, tricky on me. So um, today, da -da -da -da, I went, it was really silly of me to go like to the stores so close to Christmas, but I needed to walk and I thought, you know what, two birds, one, one stone. I bought a new notebook because the notebook actually it's a really ugly one that i got for free from the european commission um this is the one i had for what was supposed to be this move like the one that was supposed to happen earlier this year and i still have all the notes so hopefully i can well actually i don't have to put all of this because it's like brainstorming for schools where i wrote down everything like i've got i don't know how many pages about the schools in japan like so many pages but i mean there's a lot of info in here that i'm gonna put back into this brand new one um this is not actually not really my style but i saw it and it says like it's up to you on it and i was like you know what it is up to me even if this trip is going to be a little bit difficult for someone like me who likes to plan it's up to me in the end i mean <laughs> it's up to corona and the world and everything but yeah you see what i mean so i went uh, out and got this today and then i went through some of the boxes that i still have in this uh, this apartment and dug up oh actually i don't need this one accidental <laughs> that's one of my youtube uh, all the scripts for all well, the scripts and notes for all the YouTube videos. A lot of them are in here. But I meant to say that I went and dug up Japaniku 2.0, which I will transition, put retranscribe into the new one. Japaniku 1.5. This is 1.5. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is 1.5. This one. And the ultimate one, Japan, the first Japaniku, which is just, this is like treasure. This is probably one of my favorite things <laughs> ever. Dug up these notebooks. I found these two that were still lingering in the box. So the tiny Tokyo guide from Lonely Planet. And this is a studying in Japan for dummies. And it's a French version, but I'll have to reread this and hope it's still current enough even though we are in a friggin pandemic so yeah that's my little update for this vlog <laughs> right so <laughs> i was editing this vlog and i realized i'm supposed to do the shout out challenge completely forgot this is how i'm dressed i've got a full face of makeup on from doing content for a whole other thing so please excuse me and I need to sit this far where you can see all my junk because the results are that I have to do wacky bird arms for this shout out so I need to sit far away so you can see my long ass arms and I hope I can still read that list because ooh, glasses I'm getting old so, we already had the flappy bird arms, which were like this. Lucky bird is like this. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. So don't forget that you can all join this weird little challenge where I either shout out your name or have it under as a little subtitle while I do 
one of these challenges that the patrons choose from a poll and I listen to all your suggestions and add them to the poll uh, but yeah, here we go before my arms get super tired thank you for your support in this month of December Deepak Yara, Natalie Priddle, Mary Lou shit, I can't read Fuka, Richard Fujinami, 143, Kenji Swift Aqua Walter, Devil Khan, Shumi, and Nanu actually this isn't that bad. I could do this longer. I need more patience, for sure. Come on, come challenge me, guys. This is the final... Okay, now my arms are starting to eight. <laughs> this is the final moments where I can still save up before moving to Tokyo, which I hope will happen this time. Okay, guys, thank you for your support. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> you all, my arms are aching. Bye!